So for this first set of uniforms, they are so unique, I had to give them their own category. Seriously, I've never seen a country use such bright, loud, in-your-face colors in their official uniforms and actually make them look good. Let's head to the Land of Smiles and look at the official dress parade uniforms of the Thai military. Yes, gentlemen, you are looking at a pink uniform. And what I love about this is that these guys really pull it off. Now, I believe these guys are the color guard of the 1st Security Force Battalion Kingsguard of the Royal Thai Air Force. In any case, I have to say that these guys found a way to make pink sexy. Oh, and gents, it doesn't stop there. Right here in blue, we've got the Air Cadet Regiment, the Kingsguard of the Royal Thai Air Force Academy. And in bright yellow here, we've got their 1st Marine Battalion, Kingsguard of the Royal Thai Navy. And besides the colors, gents, let's talk about their headwear. Now, gents, when I zoomed in on this, I don't know about you, but when I looked at the one right here in pink, I immediately thought of the movie Trolls. And at this point, you're probably wondering, how did this uniform get on my list of the sexiest uniforms? Because having been to the Land of Smiles, I can tell you that those guys are fiercely independent and they don't care what us Westerners think is sexy. And I bet if you were in a bar with a bunch of those guys, you would not want to mess with them. They would definitely be the alphas and the ladies would be flocking to them no problem. So how did I rank these guys? Like I said, I had to give them their own category. So I created this one right here, the Gabadoo. It stands for grabs attention, but I don't know why. Now for this next uniform, I need to write a wrong. I ranked this uniform really low before and I had so many people reach out to me that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to revisit this. I'm going to look at them. And you know what? These uniforms are damn sexy. Founded January 28th, 1920 by royal decree of King Alfonso the 13th. This unit right here has seen action around the world and is a very proficient fighting force. Their motto, Legionnaires to fight, Legionnaires to die. Maintaining a fighting force of just under 8,000 men, they've got their own special forces unit, and these guys really like to keep it simple. In fact, the austerity of the uniform was actually a source of pride. Who am I talking about? The Spanish Foreign Legion. Now, why are these uniforms sexy? Well, to be honest, the uniforms themselves are pretty drab in color. The overall design is okay, nothing bad. I mean, these guys usually are built well, and that has a lot to do with it. You know, when we talk about sex appeal in general, it's hard to look bad when you've got a great body. But for me, it was the spirit decor. And as a former Marine Corps officer, I totally get this. When you've got specialty units, within larger units. And these specialty units, there's just something like they've got a deep camaraderie for each other. And there's one thing that a legionnaire can yell, to me, the legion. So I love when I read this about, hey, if everyone will drop what they're doing, if you need help, these guys will come to your aid. A legionnaire never leaves a comrade behind. And things like this, this type of, you know, brotherly love between each other, this right here, women just absolutely adore. So where did I decide to rank these guys? Okay, if these guys were in a bar, they would be having no problem with the ladies. I'm going to put them right there up near the top. PD, panty droppers. For this next unit, let's head up to the UK. And it's a relatively new unit formed in 2015. Now, if you know the way the military works, these guys didn't come out of nowhere. They were actually a reformulation. They took a number of Lancer units and combined them to create the Royal Lancers. Now, the Lancers are a formation reconnaissance regiment of the 1st Armored Infantry Brigade. Technically, they're like cavalry, and I have to say their badge is friggin' awesome. And their uniforms? Friggin' solid. I love the use of the dark color base right here, but look at the way they bring in those brighter colors. You've got the golds, you've got the red, just in the right places. I mean, the British do a great job in general with the uniforms, but they, yeah, they really did a great, I mean, these are just, yeah, the lines, these are just sexy. In particular, I love the epaulets. I love how they went a little bit more into the design there. You've got the white sash going across the front. You've got the braiding rope, just in general, really, really cool. And those red caps, you know, initially I was like, oh, did I like it? I like them. All that being said, why are they on my list of sexy uniforms? Because they got the queen. Seriously, she saw these guys and she's like, you know what? These are going to be, yeah, Lancers is a cool name, but I'm going to call you Queen Elizabeth's own. So for that reason alone, gents, I got to put them right here in the lady killer category. Yeah, they slew the queen. Now, gents, if you like this video, do me a favor, smash that like button. Let the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, I want to see more videos like this from Antonio. Now, this next regiment was created in 1883. They maintain three active battalions and one in reserve. Now, the regimental badge is an eight-point diamond cut star. 
And can you guess what the VRI stands for? Now, if you hail from one of the British colonies, you may recognize that as the official cipher of Queen Victoria. And what unit am I talking about? The Royal Canadian Regiment. Now, there's a lot of things to admire about the Royal Canadian Regiment. In fact, if you've served in the military, any unit around the world, but in particular Canadian units, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, when I look at these uniforms, it's the color and not being afraid. You know, when I think red coats, most of us here in the United States, we think of the English, but of course, our friends up in Canada, they made, you know, what was it? I don't remember what year, but they came down and burned our capital just, just for the hell of it. But uh, point B is uh, these guys have an English heritage and they definitely understand how to cut a uniform because these things look good. But yeah, it's that red jacket that really stands out. You've got the gold buttons right there on the front. You've got the nice looking epaulets. You've got the white belt going in there with the gold buckle. One thing in particular, though, I really do like about these uniforms. Look at that headwear. Now, what you're looking at here is a modern Wolseley. And notice that badge right there on the front. I mean, it's just a good looking badge, but the hat style in general. So this was outdated, I think like over 50 years ago. They pretty much said in general, these need to be gone. We actually had something like this in the Marine Corps for a while. But what I like about this hat is it's actually pretty functional. It looks good. It definitely, you know, with that spike on top, I think is overall pretty cool. It's a great ceremonial uniform. At functionally wise, uh, you know, a hundred years ago, this was actually cutting edge technology. So where am I going to rank these guys? Okay. It's a great looking uniform. Love the use of color. And I think up in Canada, definitely these would be lady killers. You wear this uniform out, you are going to get lucky. Now at this point in the video, gents, I want to ask for your help because I need ideas of other uniforms. Give me ones in particular down in the comments below that I need to look at. Seriously, I'm going through looking at uniforms. I found these Mexican cadets. Check this stuff out. I mean, these guys are out there with eagles on their arms. I'm thinking, man, we need a unit like this in the Marine Corps with bald eagles right on our arms. But seriously, there are so many different countries out there and I don't really know your uniforms. I tried to find a lot more about India. I had difficulty. So again, guys, down in the comments, or if you want to reach out to me at Real Mid Real Style, I would appreciate it because I want to know in particular what uniforms you guys want me to look at for my next video. Now, this next uniform I've talked about before, but they are so sexy. I had to add them to this list. And let's go over to Argentina and let's talk about the Mounted Grenadiers. Now, they're also known as General Jose de San Martin's Cavalry Regiment. They were formed in 1812. And it's safe to say that there are many young Argentinian men that, yeah, they don't want to be football players. I know that's sacrilegious right there. They wanted to be mounted grenadiers. They look at these guys in uniforms, in their parade dress, and they're like, yeah, I want to be like that. Their dad behind them says, yeah, I want you to be like that because I wanted to be like that when I was a kid. Now, these guys have a number of things going for them, but the overall design and look of this uniform, it's a bit antiquated, but I think that's a great thing because this thing has stood up to the test of time. Uh, I mean, just look at those epaulets. Look at the design, the lacing on them, you know, the braiding that's hanging down. I mean, they just make the shoulders look stronger. That headwear, that is fierce. That is in your face. Yes, it's probably not comfortable, but it looks damn good. And then you get these guys mounted on horses Holy cow, you know, just the overall look, you got the boots there. Yeah, this is a sharp looking uniform. The colors just work. Great coordination, great combination right here. An absolute, just beautiful masterpiece. So I got to rank these guys at the very top is IJBWBs. What does that stand for? Now, I don't know if this is PC, but I'm going to say it anyway. Impregnate by just walking by. Now, I know some of you guys are watching this video thinking, Antonio, this is all great, but you know, I'm 30, 40, 50. I ain't joining the military. Some of you guys, yeah, I'm not going to join the military to be sexy. So how can you be more attractive? Guys, by taking care of the details. I'm talking about grooming. I'm talking about your hair. I'm talking about your skincare routine. Do you have one? Well, guys, if you're looking for natural products that leverage organic ingredients, go check out what I've got for you over at Vitaman. These are products that are tested. They're the best on the market, leveraging unique organic ingredients ingredients from the Australian Outback. Seriously, guys, if you want to get started, you want, you know what, Antonio, I've got thinning hair and I want to make sure I'm using a shampoo, a conditioner that's made specifically for thin hair. Well, over at Vitamin, we've got specifically a thinning hair kit that again, uses natural and organic ingredients. I'm going to link to it down in the description with the best deal you're going to find out there on the web. Or if you've got an oily scalp, if you've got, you know, just a dry scalp and it's really itchy, we've got the right products for you. If you're looking for skincare, because Hey, you're in your thirties, you're 
you're in your 40s, you're starting to see some wrinkles and you're dating a woman. She's 10 years, 15 years, you're junior, but you don't want to look like some old guy that's, you know, just, yeah, I get it, guys. And you want to make sure that you take care of your skin. So we've got that with our skin protector. We've got that with our anti-aging cream, with our eye cream that's going to get rid of those bags underneath those dark circles, underneath the eyes. So go check it out, guys. I've got some great deals for you down in the description. Go check out Vitaman. Awesome company. I stand behind every product we sell. And uh, really, go try us out. Again, if you are skeptical at all, grab our free sample kit, which I will link to down in the description of today's video. And who else would I put in this top list? Gents, let's go over to Italy and let's look at the Carabinieri. Now, I've talked about these guys as well, and they are freaking amazing. I love the bicorn hat. You've got the freaking cape that these guys are pulling off more. It's a cloak, but uh, yeah, it's just a great looking piece. Overall, these guys are in shape. Now, I know a lot of you guys may think, oh, wait a minute, the Carabinieri, they're a police force. I thought this was about military uniforms. Well, they actually serve as both. And officially, they are a military unit and they have taken part in military battles throughout history. Now, founded in 1814, they are the fourth branch of the armed forces, but they are officially a military unit. They've got over 100,000 sworn officers and their dress uniform is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if there's anybody that watches this video that actually served over there. I would love to talk to you at some point because it's just, I, I want to learn more about these uniforms and get some pictures that are probably not going to be on the web. I just want to learn more about some of the details, uh, the weapons that they carry. Actually, I had that, uh, what is that? The Beretta 92FS. Uh, yeah, the 92FS, great pistol. I carried it for years and absolutely love it. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, well, Antonio, where's your beloved United States Marine Corps? Well, guys, I wanted to give these other services a chance. I mean, come on, we're at God love. We don't even need to compete in these lists. That being said, I have seen some of the goofiest, ugliest, strangest looking guys who in any other circumstance would have no shot with the ladies wear a uniform, walk into a club or a bar. Yeah, we'd have Marine Corps balls. You go partying afterwards. Guys, I, it just blew me away. I remember this one guy. I'm not going to say his name. He, I mean, he convinced this girl that he was a freaking astronaut. He had just had jump wings, but she believed him. And uh, yeah, I mean, she was decently attractive for, for him. Yeah, he was like a two and that's given on a good day. He just had a really weird looking face. But dude, I mean, it was amazing. The power of a uniform can, can do for a guy. So what video to watch next? Well, how about the coolest uniforms? Because in this video, I talked about sex appeal. In this one, I talk about the cool factor. Which uniforms are the coolest? Guys, find out in this video right here. Come on, click on it. It's good for you.